Now that was a very modern illusion. I'd like to show you now one of the oldest illusions in magic. It's called the cups and balls. Now this was done many, many centuries ago and the magicians always use two or three cups and two or three balls. I've simplified it a little bit for you, Edna, and for you, David. I'm only going to use one little copper cup and one green ball. Now I'm going to explain what's going to happen. Then you can help part and participate, okay? Now, I take the little green ball, and then David, I put it inside the cup, and I shake it up like that, and I take it and put it inside of my pocket. Okay, and you're supposed to guess whether the ball is under the cup or in my pocket. Have you got that? Okay, let's begin. You got, okay, the ball goes right down inside of the cup. I shake it up like this, and I take it, and I put it down inside of my pocket. Now, Edna, do you think the ball is in my pocket or under the cup? Under the cup. Under the cup. Are you sure you don't want to change your mind? Yes, I do. Where do you think now? In your pocket. You have to watch a little closer, Edna, okay? Let's try something a little bit easier now. The ball is going to penetrate right through the handkerchief, leaving no hole. That's what makes it magical. I put the ball right on top of the handkerchief, and we cover it with the cup to make it a little bit more mysterious. Watch, it's going to pass right through. Look, the ball went right down inside of the... Wait a minute. Look, the little ball got scared and went home. <laughs> yeah, thank you. This time, the ball is going to pass into the glass, through the cup, and through the handkerchief. Now, I'm going to take the ball, David, and put it down inside of my pocket, and it's going to pass into the cup either visibly or invisibly. How would you like to see it go? Yes. Invisibly, through the air. Did you see it go? Well, you should have, because look, there it is, right down inside of the glass. Now this time, this time, Edna, I'm going to do the same thing, a little bit faster. It goes down inside of my pocket, and it's going to go invisibly to the cup. Did you see it go? Well, you should have, because look, it's a lemon. But that's not what really amazes me. What floors me is how this onion gets in here. <laughs> Especially since they don't even fit inside the cup. <laughs>